There's uh, there's two competing headlines I want to read you, Howie. Now, this one's from April, April 3rd. See if you can spot the difference, okay? April 3rd. Biden touts seeing more new jobs created in the first two months than any administration in history. May 7th. Biden reacts to weak jobs report, says U.S. is still digging out of an economic collapse, but on right track. In other words, it's Donald Trump's fault. It's not yeah. my fault. I'm doing the best I can. This is going to be a, uh, an administration that inherited everything. Absolutely. And, and you know what's so funny is um, now they're, they're kind of spinning this whole thing. You heard him, how he talking about the taxes and talking about how even though Donald Trump gave us those tax cuts and, it, you know, the economy was booming and everybody was winning and feeling happy, mm-hmm. Biden often reminds us, like, that that wasn't real, you know? That wasn't what you think it is. That was actually really bad. But how come Obama was taking credit for that under Donald Trump? They, they admitted that it was a good thing by saying that it was all because of Obama. And now Joe Biden's telling us that all, when all our 401ks were going up, it actually, it, it wasn't what you thought it was. This is, you know, the other thing I kept looking, I didn't see the word unexpectedly today. Oh, I did. No, there's unexpected, but I didn't see the adverb. Oh, yeah. Yo, that's, that's where you come in. You know, like, they're, I, they're saving it for you. I like unexpectedly. So there's a story going on um, on Twitter. You know how sometimes Twitter trends what it wants to trend and, you know, they try to shape the narrative the best they can. Jack Dorsey is the Ministry of Truth. <laughs> And Donald Trump Jr. tweeted out, Biden Biden is not the next FDR. He's the next Jimmy Carter. And Twitter, this is what Twitter trends, okay? Jimmy Carter. And then here's the description. People, I'm going to read it in my Valley Girl. People are confused by a tweet from Donald Trump Jr. saying that President Biden isn't the next FDR. He's the next Jimmy Carter given that former President Carter is a Nobel Peace Prize winner whose humanitarian record is largely respected. Wow. You know, Donald, that's, that's quite a take. You know what Donald Trump Jr. T- tweeted back? What? Anyone who is supposedly confused by my below tweet should probably read the awful Biden jobs report out today. Then take a peek at the rising prices of raw materials that we're seeing. And then finally, Google Jimmy Carter inflation. How about stagflation would be even better word to Google. Things will make a lot more sense to you. But see, it's all about infrastructure. Cut 10. This is Biden this morning, this afternoon. There are over 400,000 schools and daycare centers with lead pipes that the, where the, 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 the water goes through. Oh. I'm not touching that one because I'll get in trouble. And then he keeps going on and on about the 400,000. Keep playing it. Keep playing I saw a, a water pro- project uh, system uh, yesterday in New Orleans. And they, but he, he, there's, there's more to it than that. We, we just, uh, we'll, we'll play more as we go through it. He, I, I he think mentioned that... 400,000 four times in the course of like one and a half sentences. That's one of his favorite numbers. It is. That, it that's got to be top three. 200 million is also a big one he likes. Another another one is 3,000. Well, it's a good, it's a round 3, number. 3,000, and that's followed by 3,000 for children under the age of six and over the age of six. And children over the age of six will be getting $3,600. My favorite was, we're going to raise taxes, but it's not going to affect anyone. Right. <laughs> huh? That, that one to My me favorite was, was no one under 400,000 is going to pay taxes. Well, you you know what, Taylor? Selfishly, that would probably be my favorite as well because I will be reaping the benefits. I can't wait for that to come into effect. Did anyone ask him about that today? No, they forgot to do that. And, and no one no one raised it. Sir, sir, you said if we needed some COVID guidance, we should look to the CCD. I just happened to have found my old Baltimore catechism from the 1960s. And, you know, there's... There's nothing about COVID in there. No. A lot of stuff about the a lot of stuff about the act of contrition and and limbo and purgatory, but nothing about COVID nineteen. See, you were in CCD when it was like scary times. It was. Yeah, when I was there, it was all like, ah, <laughs> oh, you know, just say your prayers, everything will be fine. But when Howie was there, they're like, little Howard, if you don't do what you're supposed to, you're going to hell. If you eat meat on Friday, you're probably going to be struck down by a car on your way home and you will spend eternity in hell.
Okay, see you next week. Same time, same place. <laughs> um, David Harsani had a great point. He said, de-incentivizing work, raising taxes, keeping schools closed while pumping trillions into the economy. What could go wrong? It's going to be very unexpected when all this stuff goes wrong. Um, Howie, I do want to re- uh, play for you one cut. This is very recent. I just pulled it. I don't often pull Joy Reid for obvious reasons. We, we don't listen to her show a lot but she had michael Steele on and i just want to say the quality the quality of the shows on msnbc sometimes get looked over because of cnn and how bad their shows are but don't don't um you know discount msnbc they've got some whoppers on there listen to the level of conversation joy reed is having with her guest republican michael Steele. donald trump brought the gold toilet into the rnc into the party and everyone is, thinks it's a pool <laughs> and they're just diving in <laughs> and then they're here's just the diving thing. in they're, but i mean eugene they're diving in and the the, the poop toilet is full it's not like they're diving in and it's empty it's full uh, and I the thing is, around. Yeah. <laughs> i get I get, okay poop. if i was talking like that on the air my mom would call me up and say don't do that anymore disgusting yeah i raised you better than that right yeah D- didn't your mother raise you better than that come Grace? on that's what they would say come on man um i i do want to play a couple more cuts here um howie from yeah, i just want to play you know some people we were talking about all these people that are sitting at home and i said how, how can they not take jobs that are offered to them because they, they think it's going to go on forever and uh this this 508 says i have three cousins between 27 and 35 sitting at home collecting one is making more money the other two are making only 140 less per week but don't have to work they think it will be extended and another stimulus is coming and then another guy mentions another texter says you know one more month of these bad numbers and they're going to start saying well you know we're gonna have to keep this stimulus going yeah i know so it's i mean it's it's like uh it's like a, a drug well, yeah, it, it's it's like an addictive drug. It, it's like walking. You know how when you when you drag mud into the house, and your first thought is, "I should take these shoes off so I don't keep trailing it around the house." Right. They just are they're cleaning up, but they're dragging their mud around the house, and it's like, don't you see what the what the issue is? This is a very easy thing to understand. You don't have to be that bright to figure out what's going on here. But they're just in complete denial. I think the craziest part is that we keep saying. Well, this just goes to show you that we need all of my porculus bills. It's like, no, I think it shows us the opposite. Um, but, Howie, we do talk sometimes on this show about net neutrality, because as you remember, we all died from net neutrality a few years right. ago. I, I actually died earlier from Y2K. Right, so it was your second death. Yeah. You're like a cat, though. Yeah. I've, You've got to be on seven or eight. Alar, paraquat. <laughs> you survived it all. Acid rain. Killer bees. He's Howie Carr's a zombie. If you guys don't know that, he's the indestructible man. <laughs> he really is. But I, I wanted to tell you guys this because I think you'll find it amusing. The Office of New York Attorney General uh, Letitia James. We know Letitia James because of her involvement in the Andrew Cuomo um, saga. She's revealed in a new report that nearly 18 million. Ready for this? Nearly 18 million of the more than 22 million comments the FCC received during its 2017 rulemaking were fake. Intended to support the repeal no. of net neutrality. No. The idea that internet service providers should provide all online content equally and prevent them from favoring their own services or customers over their competitors. Yes. So uh, CNN, MSNBC, parent companies funded millions of fake net neutrality comments. Are you telling me big tech is not on the level? And that poor, Mark Zuckerberg? Howie, that poor girl who rigged her homecoming high school, whatever. I get right. it. It's bad. And her mom. But the punishment's worth the crime, okay? If me and my mom rigged that and I was on the cover of the New York Post with the tiara on, I think I learned my lesson. And she's going to probably do jail time, and then these people are going to walk off scot-free. With billions in stock options. Justice for the girl who rigged the homecoming dance. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Got anything else, Grace? No, I think I'm pretty much done. All right. 844-500-4242. We'll talk more about these uh, the, these uh, lack of jobs and the people that are just uh, sitting at home and uh, in, enjoying the uh, enjoying the pa- the panic. You think there? And I always say, well, some of them are afraid to go back to work. 
Yeah, right. Right. They're afraid to go. Some of them can't get babysitting because the the schools are still open because of the teacher sc- union scams. And the teachers but, are the ones who are afraid to go back to work. It's like a it's a vicious cycle. <laughs> That's the problem. The teachers are afraid to go back to work, so the kids, the parents can't get um, anyone to watch their kids, and so we go around and around the merry-go-round. I think we need a new stimulus plan. Only this time we need $3,000 a week instead of $300 a week. All right. Okay. A lot of us are going to be going places this summer. Grace and I are going to be doing uh, all kinds of uh, remotes on Fridays down on the Cape, and uh, you know, Grace, believe it or not, doesn't like the kind of stuff that I like to listen to in the car, like Boston Blackie Barbaric. or well, Murder by Experts. It's not only that, but how he's the type of person who, if he doesn't have his Raycons, we all have to listen to what he wants to listen to, or if he wants the radio off, we can't listen to anything. So the Raycons have really created the best of both worlds, because you can listen to all your great music that is awesome, and I can listen to something else on the radio. Yeah. The only problem is when I want to hum along with a Mothers of Invention song like Mr. America, Walk On By, and that's Liquor where, Store Supreme. And what's our rule with that? No, 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 no. <laughs> you have your Raycons in, you stay quiet. But that's the great thing about Raycons. Everybody in the car or in the house or on the beach or at the lakefront can listen to whatever they want to and they don't have to bother anyone else as long as they don't hum along or sing along. <laughs> Whether wherever you are this summer, a pair of Raycon wireless earbuds in your ears can make all the difference. You get crisp, powerful beats at half the price of other premium audio brands. Raycons look great and feel even better. They come in a range of cool colors and with customizable gel tips included for a comfortable in-ear fit. And Raycons are built to go wherever you go with quick and seamless Bluetooth pairing and a compact charging case. And uh, un- unlike an electric car, you don't have to worry about uh, recharging them every couple hours. You've got 24 hours of battery life before you have to recharge. So you can take them anywhere and not worry about, the, uh, not worry about running out of power. Work, workouts, wherever you go, Raycons are perfect for the summer. Listen up, Raycon's offering 15% off all their products for my listeners, and here's all you've got to do to get it. Go to buyraycon.com slash Howie. That's 15% off at buyraycon.com slash Howie. Buyraycon.com slash Howie. I'm Howie Carr. The Howie Carr Show. 